If you're looking for a fast, clean, and modern operating system that can replace or outperform Windows, Pop! OS might be the perfect option. Today I'll show you how to download Pop! OS, create a bootable installer, and install it on your PC step by step. We'll also cover why Pop! OS has become a favorite among digital creators, developers, gamers, and everyday users, plus a few peaks under the hood. So let's get to it. Pop! OS is a Linux operating system developed by System76, built for sneaky performance, productivity, and simplicity. It's also becoming known for being extremely user-friendly and powerful, fresh off the install. People are loving Pop! OS because it's lightweight compared to Windows OS. There are no ads or nagging screens or cloud account lock-in. It's a free and open source operating system. And there's minimal tracking and no background telemetry, which means the privacy is better compared to some other operating systems. This OS is a great no fuss option for general users that browse the web, send emails, and watch videos online. So if you're looking for an operating system that feels as smooth as Mac OS, but with the customization features of Linux, Pop! OS is a good choice to try out. All right, before we begin, we'll need just a few things. First, you'll need a spare USB flash drive of eight gigabytes or more. Next, we'll need the Pop! OS install ISO file. I'll show you where to securely grab this. And lastly, we'll need some software to flash the Pop! OS to your USB drive. We'll use Rufus for this, but you can use any desired flashing software you like. I'll put links to all of this in the video description as well. Once you have your USB drive ready, let's go download the OS and flashing software. Now head over to the Pop! OS official website. You'll see three different download options. One for PCs with Intel or AMD graphics. One for PCs with Nvidia graphics. And even a download for Raspberry Pi devices. Choose the install version that matches your hardware. For our lab PC, I'm choosing the Intel AMD version. When this download finishes, which will vary depending on your internet speed, we'll go grab our flashing software, Rufus. Visit the official Rufus website at rufus.ie, scroll down to the download section, and select the latest release. To create your installer USB, open Rufus or your desired flashing tool. Select the Pop! OS ISO file we downloaded, and then click Start. Rufus may take a few minutes to build the installer. This is normal. Once Rufus is done building the installer, we'll need to change a setting in your PC's BIOS. If Secure Boot is enabled on the PC you want to install Pop! OS on, then we'll need to disable it. I'll show you what that looks like on our lab PC. Restart your PC and enter your BIOS settings. You can generally do this by hitting the F2, F9, or Delete keys on your keyboard. A quick web search will help you find the correct key. Once in your BIO settings, navigate to your secure boot setting and toggle this off. Again, a quick web search will help you locate this setting for your PC. Disable secure boot and restart your PC. All right, now that you've disabled secure boot and restarted your PC, we'll want to enter the boot menu to boot from the USB drive we created. To do this, after you restart, immediately hit your boot menu key on your keyboard. Could be F2, F10, F12. Again, a quick web search will let you know which key to hit at startup. Once you're at the boot menu, select your USB drive and hit enter on your keyboard. Your PC should boot into the Pop! OS USB and begin the install process. This install was super fast for our lab PC, maybe five minutes total. Here we'll have a normal setup routine. Select your install language. Select your keyboard layout. Select your install type. We'll do a clean install here. Select your desired install disk location if you have multiple disks. Create your username and account password.
you can select to encrypt your disk or not. Once the install is completed, restart your PC and remove your USB drive. Once restarted, log into your freshly created user account. On your first boot, Pop OS will walk you through a setup guide. Customize your desktop as you see fit. After the setup, you're dropped into the PopShell desktop environment, which is clean, intuitive, and powerful. This is where Pop OS really shines. The launcher feature helps search everything in the OS, apps, games, settings, and more. The Pop Shop is an app store that lets you install tons of additional programs. The Applications panel gives quick access to built-in apps and freshly installed games. The Settings panel opens the door to all the normal settings you would see in Windows, Mac OS, and even other Linux flares. If you're tired of Windows slowing down your PC or Mac OS pop-ups, interrupting your workflow, Pop OS is absolutely worth trying. And that's how you download, install, and get started with Pop OS. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more Linux videos and walkthroughs. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.